Hey guys, welcome back to another How To Win video. Today I'm going to be taking 8-bit into Solo Showdown Feast or Famine. Now today I want to focus on dealing with slow movement speed and knowing how to sort of play slower brawlers and currently 8-bit is the only one in the game but it wouldn't surprise me if later on in the future we get some more slower brawlers or other unique movement speeds as well. So without further ado, let's hop into the first game. Okay, we are spawning top left of the map, and we have two boxes there and also one box above us. Since the Shelly is going for the middle, we'll just grab this box up here. Now, one thing I do want to say before this starts is if you do have extra life, this tutorial is basically like, you don't even need it, because 8-bit with extra life right now is just so strong, and always will be, because that star power is just really powerful. Um, and yeah, it's just pretty crazy how good 8-bit is, but we did manage to take out that crow very easily there. Um, people tend to underestimate how good 8-bit is in terms of damage, and also his range. Like, he may be slow, but he does output a ridiculous amount of damage, so you've got to be very careful when facing an 8-bit, and also you can normally pull a lot of things off when you're playing 8-bit. So he may be slow, like right now we're just slowly waddling around the map and trying to find people, but um, he's still very strong as a brawler. So. Let's head down here. I see Cole who just used super. He's got six power cubes. We actually have the same range or barely outrange Cole if he has Magnum special, although this Cole doesn't have a star power at all. So we'll be able to fight this Cole with no problems if he tries to shoot at us. So he's in those bushes right there. I'm going to see if I can maybe get a peek shot on him. I managed to hit him twice. That's already a thousand damage with only two bullets because we have three power cubes. Like, that's insane. Ape just has so much DPS. Um, the Colt's just heading up there. I'll try and get some shots on him, maybe peek him around the corner. We are really just applying pressure. Like, Ape may be slow, but you can just chase people down and deal so much damage and really force people out of situations. Like this cult. We've just been pursuing this cult this entire time. I'm actually going to try and do a juke there. We, we tried to juke him out there. going to throw my turret down just in case. I was sort of expecting that Shelly to come down to the bottom of the map. Although it looks like she's abandoned this power cube. I'm not sure where her... Oh, there she is. So she's right in those bushes. I wasn't sure where she went. Oh, she had eight power cubes and managed to take us out. Um, but we did get the second place there. Very easy. Um, all we really did was just pursue that cult the entire time. Um, applying pressure with 8-bit is very important. And if you're playing anyone with slow movement speed, never under you can never underestimate how, how strong the brawler really is. Especially since 8-bit has so much damage. Like, if you're going up against an 8-bit, yes, he may be slow, but he does so much damage. So let's hop into the next game and see if we can find some more examples. Okay, we're spawning on the right hand side of the map with two boxes to our top right So we'll go for those ones over there I was gonna shoot that Shelly a little bit, but it looks like she's just gonna go for that box instead So we'll just go for these boxes here line ourselves up so we can open the second one up with some ammo spared from our third attack and Then we'll grab these power cubes and head towards the bottom of the map So it's more ideal to be at the bottom of the map because as a long-range ruler it just makes it easy to play um, so I'm just going to see if I can switch places with this Rosa here. Yes, we applied enough pressure. Now we can just make our way to the bottom of the map. I'm not going to go for the Rosa because I don't really have to. Um, she is. She was a bit close to us, and Rosa does do a lot of damage as well, so you've got to be careful. Go up against the Rosa. I just didn't want to be in her range there. This is an enemy 8-bit right here. I think he might have a star power. I can't really tell. If he does, we're going to be very careful because extra life can surprise you. And no, he does not have extra life, so that's really good to know. Brock um, does have his super, so that's very important for him. He can easily take us out with that because we cannot dodge his rockets. And right here, we're running straight at him. I'm just going to throw my super down to try and tank the last rocket. We did manage to tank it. I'm going to head out of the situation, but shooting back behind me at the same time just to back him off a little bit. And I'm just going to hold my ground on this right-hand side here and just keep my eye on this Brock rather than trying to go for the kill. I managed to chip him just a little bit there. He did actually peek us, and we predicted that really well. I thought he was going to come out and try to shoot us, so I did manage to shoot him. We've done more damage than he does, so that's going to force him to retreat, and we're going to be able to hold our ground a little bit, although he did come back after healing up slightly. So we're chilling in the corner right now. I think he may have repositioned to these bushes here, and if not, he's gone towards the left a little bit more. So I'm going to hold my ground in this corner. I don't really have to do anything right now. And as a slower brawler, you don't want to get yourself in a sticky situation. You want to use your or use your or whatever you're good at to your advantage. So since Ape is very slow, but outputs a lot of damage, you want to be able to stay at your maximum range to be able to maintain that damage, but also not get taken out at the same time. So that's why I'm really just playing very safe, playing cautious, and not going super aggressive on anybody. Just trying to chip at super, trying to check bushes, make sure there's no one here. So I do know that there's a Brock left in this game. The energy drinks are spawning. There's one spawning on us, so that makes me a lot more confident because I can do a lot of damage now. Um, hopefully we can maybe hit this Brock. He is over there. So now that we have the energy drink, we do move a lot quicker, which is really cool. 
Um, so we're just going to go and cut him off for the energy drink. We'll be able to take him out and get the first place victory. So quick recap on that game. That was a little bit more uneventful. But realistically, when you're playing a slower brawler, you want to play to your strengths as much as you can. It also works with playing bad brawlers in Showdown. So since 8-Bit has a long range and also outputs so much damage, staying at that long range is important because that will give you a higher chance at winning the game and also put you in a better spot for the rest of the game. And that's really what we did the entire time. We didn't really pursue anything crazy. We didn't do anything like a Shelly, for example, who would go very aggressive. We just stayed back, relaxed, just chilled for a little bit, and we were all good to go. So let's see if we can hop into the third game and get some more examples. Okay, we are spawning on the left hand side of the map and we have a box to our left So we will go for this one over here being able to three tap that one open and I do notice there's a brawl up there It is a Nita, so we will be able to go for this Nita She is a pretty easy target for us because she doesn't really do too much damage Her range is also very short and this Nita is going a little bit too aggressive on us so We will be able to just try and take her out here getting that easy kill We will be set with two power cubes and our super at the beginning of the game So now I'm gonna heal up Let's see if I can check the bushes behind this box because I don't actually want to encounter anyone here. And seeing as I am a very slow brawler, being prepared for the fight is better than not knowing that someone's there, using all your attacks and then being taken out because someone was hiding in those bushes. Now there is a crow right in these bushes here. We will be able to take him out. I don't know what he was doing. He went very aggressive and thought he could get the kill. I'm gonna throw my turret down on this Brock so I can use it to tank whenever I need to, as he is going super aggressive. And he did actually manage to hit one shot, which was very unfortunate but it wasn't enough to take us out because we managed to tank it. So he's got seven power cubes and he's also got incendiary. Um, we have four. We're chilling in these bushes over here. There's a Jesse right below us. We will be able to just laser her. Um, almost taking her out, I'll be able to just hit her one more time and finish her off there. I'm actually just going to throw out my super right here on this energy drink. He did actually predict us that we would go for that energy drink. I'm just going to see if I can laser him a bit. We managed to pick it up, so we will be able to go in these bushes here. I'm actually just going to throw a curveball on him and walk up the top of the, uh, the bushes because he probably thought that we were going around the bottom. And now, I'm not too fussed about getting the kill. We can be very patient. We have the better position in the middle of the map, so I'm just going to wait for him to make a mistake or overextend. And even if he gets that energy drink, we can still take him out. So right there we managed to weaken him a lot and if he goes for us now with that much health We will be able to get him even weaker than what he is right now So we're just chipping him down. He's not doing too well at hitting us Like I said, we do have the better position here and even though we are a slow brawler We just have to play it very chilled very safe. We should be okay So his energy drink should run out at some point. He's right there We will be able to almost take him out very unfortunate I thought that we might not be able to kill him in a one-on-one -on -one situation like that. He only had 360 health left. But that's only because he had about a three power cube lead, if I'm not mistaken. So we still took second place. Very happy with that game. Um, we, did, we did play that very well there. I hope that does demonstrate how you can play slower brawlers somewhat. So yeah, let's hop into the fourth and final game and see if we can get another good example. Okay, we are spawning in the bottom right corner of the map, and we do have- well, I see two boxes over there. We might be able to go grab those if someone doesn't get them before us, but we will go for these boxes first, as they are more important than the ones over there. They were closer to us. So, as I did say, the, dyn the dynamite did actually go and get those, so we weren't able to take those. The Shelly did get very greedy, though, and went for that power cube, so we will be able to pick up that easy kill. Even though she got her super, she was already too weak, and she wasn't able to use it in time. So, I'm just going to keep my eye on this bull, because there's a lot of power cubes in the middle, Although I don't feel like challenging him because he will be able to take us out very easily. So I'm just going to play it safe and go for the Dynamite instead. Who just took a lot of damage to us in fact. We will be able to grab those easy two power cubes. And actually go for this fight over here as well. So I don't, don't normally go very aggressive. But a lot of fights have just gone down in this area. So we will be able to get some free power cubes I guess. Clean up these fights. And just be settled well for the rest of the game. So this cult is not doing too well at dodging my attacks. I'll actually explain how I did that. So, when you're going, especially when you're super, so when you're going like up the wall like this, I use my attack and sort of try to shoot here, and also, while your attack is mid-fire, it'll sort of shoot on top of the wall as well. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. So, shooting the wall, at least maybe one of your attacks will slip through, which is enough to keep the brawler weak, and enough to keep them from not healing. So that's how I actually try to take that cult out. I was, it looks like I may have been shooting the wall, but it's more of like a strategic way, pre-shooting or pre-firing as a way to predict where he's going to go to further take him out in the late game. So I know there's a bull left because he just took out a BB. 
I will be able to get this energy drink, however, and I will also have my station. So I'm just going to throw out my turret here. He is over here. He will be able to take us out. I thought we might have been able to tank behind the, the station or not. But we did take the second place once again, and I feel like this video has been a very good one. I'm actually pretty happy with the games in this video. Um, playing Ape, it was a lot of fun, actually. And also, I feel like people just underestimate how good he is. Um, he may be slow, but if you play him well and you know what you're doing, he's definitely a very good brawler. So I hope this video did help you out if you were struggling with slow brawlers, especially like 8-bit, and maybe with slow brawlers in the future to come. But that'll be it for me today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, do leave a like because it tells me that I should make more of these. And if you do like the how to win style content, I make a lot of this stuff on my channel. So feel free to check out the rest of my videos and that'll be very cool. And if also, if you have any further questions about this video or you have any other comments you want to make, feel free to pop it to my Twitch channel chat i stream every friday saturday and sunday the links are down in the description below but that'll be it for me today guys and as always keep sweating it's all because of the shot delay You're dead. just all the way there, you know? oh okay that was very easy